From the Tsumeb mine, Namibia. Now I need to have a closer look to see if these are tiny smithsonite uh, crystals or perhaps dolomite crystals perched on this this uh, uh, central. If you have a look at the specimen in totality, it looks almost crystalline. So the matrix is almost crystalline. Uh, uh, maybe dolomite or who knows, perhaps even the core may even be wolfenite or the likes of that. Crystalline right around. Right around the top, so pretty perfect, right around the top section. Then you have these micro crystals running all across. I think we're looking at small smithsonites. Could, of course, be dolomite too. Uh, essentially, the difference is, well, the weight of smithsonite is a lot more. Also, the, the fracture zone of calcite would be a, a, a cleaner cleavage than you'd get on smithsonite. But looking at this, I think we are looking at smithsonite. There may be some traces of motramite here too. Lovely, lovely piece. Uh, bottom has cross sections, so the top is totally intact. So from a display point of view, I display it this way up, going around like that, and there we can have a closer look at the crystallization happening, taking place across there. All the way from the famous old Sumeb mine in Namibia, of course, and no longer being mined. I think mining ceased in the 1980s, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and reappeared in early 2000 and then stopped again because there's immense water pressure in the Atari highlands of Namibia.